The topic uh, of my, my speech is media for equity and media for revenue and how this is an innovative way for broadcasters to enter new business units. Maybe the first question they get a feeling about uh, who of you is aware of media for equity? Who knows what this is? Please hands up. Wow, cool. Oh, very good, very good. And uh, who of you has already a deal in place with media for equity or media for revenue? Okay, there's a lot of potential. So this is my sales pitch. Eight minutes to convince you uh, to enter a media for equity deal. I hope, okay, the presentation now is almost at its end. So let me start um, with the, the title, Innovation in TV. So let me tell you why we think media for equity, media for revenue is an innovation. In the past, many um, young companies, startups, growth companies, hadn't enough uh, capital to finance very aggressive um, TV campaigns to fuel their growth. And that's why um, we thought we can solve this problem by simply introducing a new business model, a new revenue model for young startup companies to also participate from TV as a growth engine. And this is called Media for Equity and Media for Revenue, where we simply split the old payment model, where we would have to pay for advertising as an upfront payment, a fixed price, into a new model where the fixed price is lower, but we also participate in revenue share or equity in the success of the companies. And this enables startups and growth companies to also use TV as a mechanism to grow their business faster and diversify their revenue unit. And I'd like to tell you now how this works and uh, tell you a little bit a few success uh, cases and why we think that broadcasters can even add more value than simply providing TV advertising. Let me start with um, broadcasting, what it is all about. If you look at Germany, um, the TV companies re reach 50 million people every day. And they're not reach them for a second or two seconds, but on average, every person is watching close to four hours of TV every day. And ProSieben Z1 with our three big channels, ProSieben Z1 and Kabel 1, reach all different target groups daily with 15, uh, 14, 19, and 11 million viewers. Uh, ProSieben is the blockbuster channel for young generation, the internet generation, very, very affine to new products, innovation. Sat1 is a channel for families, household leading um, wives and men, and Cable Eins for the older, older male audience. So what we do is with TV, we can provide you immediate access, immediate scale to more than 50 people every day to make your product aware, to scale your business, and also deliver trust and the media to explain the product. What we found out in the past is that past startups, they most need obviously good entrepreneurs and they need sufficient capital to finance the infrastructure. In today's world, it's a little bit different. We need less, much less cash to finance infrastructure, but we need media to scale your business fast, to be the first that becomes a category leader, to be the first that attracts a sufficient customer base to scale your business. That's why we believe that media, marketing campaigns, are becoming more and more important in the future to grow businesses of growth companies. And what we see later is that we have by now, we innovated this model three years ago, closed more than 40 deals with the media for equity and media for revenue. And this is the reason why, because all these companies need to reach their audience fast and make them product aware. But what is also important is that we as a broadcaster learned in the last three years that it needs more than only TV media to be, to be a good partner for growth companies. We found out that you have to, you, first of all, you need a good spot. Often we have a good campaign, but the spot is bad, and then the media impact is low. That's why we found our own spot agency called Sugar Ray, that can help you as a company to define the right spot with the right conversion to your bottom line. B, we found out that you always have to consider the whole marketing mix. You can't spend only a lot of in TV and nothing in online, but you have to have an integrated campaign that's really taking the TV traffic on search and on online to then con conclude the conversion, the concluded conversion of the customers to your page. That's why we bought Booming which is the leading um, um, online and search agency in Germany. 
in addition, we found out that it's always a, a good idea to transfer our brands, TV brands, TV celebrities, and include them in campaigns for your personal campaign, for your product, to kind of transfer their brand and their trust onto your product. So that's why you see that it's more than just TV advertising. It's a whole system, it's a whole offering that we offer integrated growth solutions with an integrated marketing offering. TV, online, search, integration, our channels. We contribute stars and brands to your business. And also, we have a great opportunity to also diversify your top line. Because with our TV advertising, we are able to help you, for example, to create your own white label brands, create own brands where the margin is higher. Or we can find nice solutions of kind of listing fees for your page, where you get additional revenue sources together with our TV campaign. So there's more and more that we always try to become a better partner for you, for growth companies, to become faster, bigger. Looking at the faces, we found that it's important to not start a TV campaign too early. Uh, the sweet spot where we think TV media and growth investments are most feasible is kind of between startup and growth phase after Series A, between Series A and Series B financing round. The reason why is you need to fully capture the value of media. You need a national reach. You need a national distribution. You need solid processes. You need to be able to then really deliver the traffic and the demand that is raised by TV advertising. That's why we think startup growth case, growth phase is the right time for media investments to start. As all the other venture capitalists, we have a clear set of investment criteria which companies are attractive for us. And obviously, as in any other business, the management team is most important. But we have two other unique um, criteria which are important for us when we select businesses. A, how much does TV matter? Is it a B2C business? Is our brands important? Can we, with our channels, really push the bottom line? Can we become a good partner for the product and the company to really become a smart investor that help you to grow your business? And the last point is also very important, and there was in the past also kind of friction for us to enter this business. We don't want to get in conflict with our core business, like the traditional TV buying companies, but this is kindly good solved with the model that we simply attract a different business the small companies, the cash constraints companies, which wouldn't be able to invest in media. And I'll show you later how this both, both business models can play together. So how does a media for equity deal, um, media for revenue deal is working? We usually close three years, two to three years contracts and have three kind of um, payment models. A, it's a small minimum guarantee where companies um, pay us um, a fixed amount of money for the TV media, which is mostly financed out of the direct impact of the, the, the TV media on your bottom line. Second, we always define a revenue share where we get, all, get our share of the growth we drive in the business. And last, we get a an, an participation of the long-term brand value that is created to the media by an equity participation. And on the right hand side, you see the three different models how we exit media for equity investments. A, we simply sell it together with the owners, the investors, to a third party. B, we can just pass it over. If the business has become big enough, it might become a traditional TV advertising customer. So we pass it over to a traditional advertising unit and thereby creating a bigger market for them to sell TV advertising and to create demand for our products. Or, if we find that the business fits very well with our core business, with our culture, we might acquire the business and then build our own commerce, e-commerce uh, unit within Prozim Sat 1. Lastly, uh, hopefully, oh, and that hasn't happened so far, we have to close down and lose our investment if the business is not performing. Obviously, the, the market maker in Germany uh, was uh, Zalando, also for the media for equity, and media for revenue uh, business. When we started with Zalando, they were the first uh, at Rocket who really were smart in combining with hard facts, TV, online and search, and invested heavily in TV, heavily in online and search, and made the first success how you really become a category leader uh, in a business that hasn't been there before in online, and you all know Zalando. And what you here see on the left side is that when they started, there was not such a word online shoes in Google. And then in a phase after a few months of advertising, 
they're starting the word online search in Google, but now in the end, everybody that looks for shoes online just types in Zalando. And so they really made it by a very aggressive marketing campaign and a good product to become a category leader in the shoes, and now they try to move in the fashion market. On the right side, you see that Wiz, and I think their TV advertising had played a very great part, is that the brand Zalando has now awareness of 95% in Germany, which is extremely, extremely high. But we all hope that there will be more successful companies to follow. This is just a snapshot of uh, 40 deals we have closed uh, currently. And you see it's a broad mix of mostly B2C companies, mostly online companies, but also a few pharmaceuticals, uh, pharmaceutical companies like Ukeber, um, Tropo, it's a virtual tour operator we just acquired because travel fits very well to TV advertising. So this is kind of the portfolio space of the 40 companies. And if you look to our P&L in 2012, and we started this only three years ago, we now get roughly 60 million of direct EBITDA impact for Prozinat 1 out of these deals. And this 60 million is only the minimum guarantee that were paid by the start of the growth companies to us for the media, which was refinanced by the impact of TV media. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able or they wouldn't like to pay it in the future. So it's a very, very attractive opportunity for us to find a new customer base for TV advertising, to participate and to push growth for startups, and then create new TV customers, TV advertiser customers, or build our own portfolio of e-commerce businesses. <coughs> and here's an overview of where we drive this whole model. We started with pure media for equity, media for revenue, as I described in the presentation, minority investments, where we try to help the companies as good as possible. Now we are moving on to the next phase, the second horizon, where we have defined seven verticals, where we um, found out that TV advertising and our brands and our TV power works best, where we now try to build our own investments, where we take majority parts and try to build an next unit within our group that is really built or, or as part of many, many entrepreneurial run businesses that profit from our media and become a second uh, substantial lack of our businesses. Our overall strategy as ProSieben, a broadcast in the old days, is that we want trans to transform us from a pure broadcaster into a broadcaster with a very strong digital entertainment unit and e-commerce portfolio. And the e-commerce portfolio is exactly what's right here in the second phase, which is these seven verticals where we are now very active and investing with cash and media. And the third horizon is what we always already started is that we found out that sometimes it makes sense to really very early uh, become involved into businesses to really get to know each other early, help them in setting up their marketing strategy, their growth campaign correctly, and then are very um, good connected with them for the growth investment. That's why we now expand and seed, but we don't do it ourselves, we do it with partnerships. Partnerships. We try to connect with incubators, which are where many of them are around, or we try to make some seed investments through VC structure to then become involved into all the fascinating new ideas that are around in Germany these days, and to become participate earlier in the success and the value creation, Therefore, we bought um, Kobus, which is an incubator for digital business models in Berlin. Very nice models in, in freemium software solutions and very, very nice other ideas we have found um, to really build new businesses. And lastly is an, a new initiative uh, which we launch uh, now actually today is that we found the so-called ProSiebenSat1 Accelerator, which is a kind of boot camp where everybody can subscribe on a web page and then we will select uh, 20 companies that immediately get 25,000 euros uh, cash. We provide them an infrastructure, get them access to our networks, our skills, our advertisers, to really help them to make the first step in defining their businesses, and then help them in a second step to really find VC funding and then grow their business. So another try from, from us to really move earlier in the seed phase with the so-called Prozina 1 Accelerator, if it's interesting for you, uh, happy to register. It's an, uh, an, an beta page, uh, but if that's interesting for you, we are happy to help you here. That's my short presentation um, about Media for Equity. I think I'm in time or...
Is there time for questions? No. <laughs> OK. Thank you very much. And I hope next time there are more hands up of uh, existing deals with us. Thank you.